the Pita in the this is uh, X out here and uh, I'm bringing you just a short video of the uh, tennis plane I made in the uh, Cinema 4D. <coughs> And uh, this team play is an uh, animated watermark, which you can edit yourself. All you gotta do is just come up here and just click on the mo text. And right here, you can change the text. Uh, uh, for instance, I uh, just type a test and hit enter. Sometimes you gotta click away, you click on the gray right hair, it'll change it. And uh, down here you can uh, come down here and click the material materials down here that you have created, which I just made these. You can download material packs, but I've not had any luck finding any material packs that looked suitable for me, so I just came up with these, just random colors. You can change the color to, uh, I don't know, say blue, and I'll change it right here. Then you can make another material for the back of your text. You can change this to, I don't know, for instance, I want, uh, I want it red. Let's just put red, for example. So, the thing is, if you want a certain color on the front, make sure in selection you put C1. C1, that's the front color, and then on the other color, put C2 in the selection box. That'll be the back color, so. Down here, I've got three keyframes added to the uh, timeline down here. You don't have to do anything, everything's already set up for you. I think the only thing you'll have to do is change the font to a font that you have on your computer because I've had a font set whenever I save the uh, project file so you may not have a certain font that is selected when the file opens up on your computer it just depends if you have that font I'm trying to remember the name of the font I think the name of the font is like Sigma 5 or something like that if you do a quick google search I'm pretty sure you can find that font it's, it's free to download but anyway once you have your colors selected and once you have the text selected that you want to type in um, just come down here and hit the play button it's just simple as that it just spins at your animation and then once you have that set um, you'll want to come up here to your render settings which would be this right here and go to output and make sure it said the 1280 by 720 that's 720p in case y'all didn't know for who for everyone that doesn't know that for anyone that doesn't know that excuse me that's 720p and for frame range make sure all all frames is selected in this case we're using 90 frames so it'll be 0 to 90 frames then go to save and then uh, this is where your watermark's going to be saved at so I already have a folder made so I don't need to make another one but for instance if I wanted to make a, another folder or something on my desktop I'll uh, right click here make a new folder and name it watermark go inside this folder and just name it I'll just name it test for the tutorial and hit save and that'll be your directory and make sure the format is PNG and come down here and tick alpha channel make sure alpha channel is selected that's important make sure that box is ticked or otherwise it won't turn out good once you have those settings set up you can close out of this and the next thing you want to do is just go to render the picture view and then what this does right here it renders the uh, animation out frame by frame it might take a few minutes depending on the specs of your computer 
it goes pretty quick on my PC because I have a pretty beefy computer but it all just depends on the hardware you have in your system depending on the performance so once this is done you can close out of this box minimize that and here's the folder I made and uh, it makes multiple images like it'll make 90 copies of the uh, text just simply because it's an animated watermark and another thing I want to show you is is how to open it in Sony Vegas so let me open up uh, let me open up my Sony Vegas right quick And I'll show you how to uh, import it in Sony Vegas and put it in a video. Okay, let's see. Um, let's do. We'll do this. We'll do this recording. This was just a recording I was messing around with a while ago. So, what you want to do is drag your video clip down here. There ain't going to be no audio on this because I wasn't recording my voice in this clip. This was just a test recording. But anyway, drag your video clip down here, make a new video track. Next thing we want to open is our watermark. Go to your watermark folder and just tick, highlight the first image and tick this box right here, open sequence. Make sure you tick that. If you do not tick that, this will not work. And so it's only like this. Make sure you tick that. So you want to hit open and this box will pop up. Just hit, uh, just tick cancel on that. And see, here's your watermark. Drag and drop it on the timeline above your video track and resize it to the length of the video. And you can use your event and crop tool to uh, resize it. Right, in my case, I'm going to put it right there, just for an example. And if I hit play, there should be a spinning animation effect. And that's how you make a spin on one more, more. Right there. That's how you do it. I mean, that's pretty easy. That's, I mean, that's simple. Uh, I hope this uh, template will help you guys out. Uh, I just came up with this. I mean, I've, I've had experience with this program before. And uh, I figured I'd uh, just release this template because I've I looked on YouTube and I really didn't see any templates that were really good in my opinion. But I mean, I hope with this helps some people out. And uh, if it does help you out, give it a thumbs up. If not, then give it a thumbs down. I don't care. But anyway, this is Exile. I'm signing off. Peace out. See you guys in the next one.